what is going on in the world right now. And it is very chaotic. You still have a choice because there are going to be opinions floating around all around you. You do not need to engage in any of those opinions. You can still have your opinion. You can still be the one because one is all. You can still be the one that makes the choice to not engage in the bazillion opinions floating around the country or the globe. And you can say to yourself, the way everybody is thinking and feeling, I don't necessarily agree. But I'm going to remain detached from that because I don't see how placing momentum on that is going to serve me or anybody else that I love. Because here's the thing, folks. If you were to find yourself in a situation that needed immediate attention for you, There will be a possibility. There's always a possibility. Always. This is what the country and the world does not want you to believe. There is always a possibility. There is always a million billion ideas floating around that pertain to you. And a door will open. But if you settle into that one spot, this isn't going to happen. This is never going to happen. We're stuck now. We're not going to be able to do this. Oh my God, what am I going to tell so-and-so? And how are we going to, how are we going to do this? You've already shut the door. The door's been shut, period. And I can say this from experience because I've been in that situation. There is always, always a possibility. And it doesn't have to require violence. And it doesn't have to require drama. And it doesn't have to require anything extreme. I'm just saying, when you put yourself in a place of focus, groundedness, allowance, peace, and determination, that you are going to be in this spot. You're going to allow it to happen. You're going to be present for whomever needs you to be present. And that includes yourself. You need to be present for yourself. You don't need all that stuff that's going on. Once you, once you decide you need to be in that, you've lost your focus. You've lost your determination. You've lost your groundedness. You decide that you're going to be in alignment and you're not going to engage in all that stuff. You've allowed the universe to look at this and say, okay, you know, she's ready for a possibility. He's ready for a possibility. He's ready for the door to be opened. But when you allow your mind to become so jumbled with every distraction out there, You've lost your focus. You've lost your peace. You've lost the flow, the determination, and being grounded in what is. So that's my message for today. I love you all very, very much. Or I wouldn't be on here. Because 
I need to be able to share what I've learned to help you. That's it. That's my only goal. And people say, well, how do I do that? You start small, small, little things, little things lead to bigger things, which lead to bigger things. And I remember years ago reading an article when my husband was sick and he came out of it, my first husband. And I thought, I can't read this. I've been through so much right now. I can't read this because the article said that it was a preparation for you to be in a spot for more greater challenges. How depressing is that? How depressing is that? I don't want to think about that. That's like saying, okay, you made it through this. Now you're going to have a bigger challenge you're going to have to go through. Not necessarily. I'm not going to tell you that. I will not tell you that. I'm going to tell you what I've learned. That going through and coming out the, so the other side by being conscious, you can learn ways to navigate around these things. And yes, challenges are going to come. They're always going to come. They're always going to come. There will never be an end. And even when you achieve something, as a human being, you're going to want to achieve something else. And a lot of it you're not going to be able to control because it's coming to you. It's happening. But you can control what's going on in here. You can do it. And I said it before, you're going to fall back. You're going to fall off the peace train. You're going to fall off the feeling good train. You're going to fall and you're going to make mistakes. Okay, you're going to miss that mark, but you're going to get back on that peace train. You're just going to keep doing that and moving in that momentum. And you're going to think about, okay, I did this before and it didn't work and I'm going to do this now. And every time you do it, every time you make that conscious choice, you are growing. You are growing into a spiritual being that other people need. And that is the most beautiful, wonderful place to be. Because it means that all that you've been through and the challenges that you've been through are for a reason. And yes, everything does happen for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe we can't see it as human beings, but on a spiritual plane, it is for a reason. And that's the goal, friends, to move from this human shell, this human house, into the spiritual being that incarnated this spiritual house because that's who you really are. And God loves you. God has never, ever taken his, her, their eyes off of you. Ever. Be well, my friends. I love you so, 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 so much. Have a beautiful weekend. Until next time. Bye-bye.